Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. In this video, I'm going to explain to you, once again, in a lot of detail, my historic geometric theorem and compare it to what you find and what you learn in the mainstream. So let's begin. Now, what you have on the left-hand side here is what you find in the mainstream, <clears throat> and what you have on the right-hand side is my historic geometric theorem. So, let me explain. Now, first, we begin with the identity, which has been shown to you before. And you'll note that in the mainstream, this integral is actually equal to the product of two arithmetic means, okay? So, uh, where, where you'll see that the green areas, as I describe them here, the green areas are for the function, the, the derivative function, and the orange areas for this expression over here. So now, let's see what happens as we increase the value of n. It doesn't really have any effect on the, as you can see, on the total sum, right? And we can show the area. That's the area underneath there. And let's just bring it down again. You'll see that uh, in terms of the, the derivative function, the sum of the areas will be composed of rectangles and the orange areas, these triangle looking, they're not actually triangles, they're triangle looking areas and the sum will be 26. And I'm going to give you a, a link to this applet so that you can see that even though the areas might change when you use a different n. The sum will always be the same, okay? So it doesn't matter what is n. The sum remains the same. You see that? Okay. So, um, using Newton's flawed ideas, we are forced to deal with this extraneous expression, which in the case of the, the cubic function is 3xh plus h squared. Now, in geometry some time ago, I explained this geometric theorem to you, and this is the identity. And I proved to you that all the terms that do not contain h are the derivative, and all the terms that, can, that contain h are part of this uh, slope difference. It's a difference in slopes, okay? It's a difference between the slope of the non-parallel secant line and the derivative. <clears throat> and I explained all this to you in a previous video. So I'm going to provide also a link to this article. And you can come back here and you can ask me for a share you can ask me by submitting a share request and i'll grant you permission to the entire folders by the way to all the folders where you will find a lot more information not only about this but of many many other things so we know that we can express um, the fundamental theorem as i'm showing you here and uh, you can use this document in, in conjunction with the atlas to see that it works. So what you really have is basically uh, an expression which it doesn't matter what value of n you use, you'll always uh, come up with the correct approach. Now compare, compare it with the garbage, the flawed rot that you have in mainstream calculus. You'll form concepts infinity, limits which are circular and look at all these calculations you need at least six months 
after you leave high high school to understand this bullshit because my friends from the bottom of my heart it's bullshit it's really a flawed formulation you do not have to learn all these things yes it's interesting to learn limits uh, as a subject on its own but it has no place in calculus if you're studying engineering and you need to learn on how to calculate uh, flow integrals and flux and what have you you don't need to learn all this bullshit because that's what it is it's bullshit okay so compare the above obfuscated rot with this simple approach that I showed you in about five lines you have the same and you don't have to learn all this garbage theory which is flawed hard to understand obfuscated and full of ill-formed concepts so I have revealed to mainstream academia that the definite integral is a product of two arithmetic means but still the majority of the idiots fail to see it and they're still playing catch-up well I can only understand infinity in terms of their stupidity I'm going to stop now I'll leave you with these thoughts uh, become a subscriber if you're not one already click like on the video so that others can learn about this wonderful information not just you and if you're a mainstream academic and you're watching this and you don't agree with it please fuck off and never visit my channel again because stupid can't be fixed and you are stupid I do not want you visiting my channel please go away forever. Well, my name is John Gabriel, and this is the New Calculus Channel. Till next time, goodbye.